So, you've got to the end of the day and it's time to clean your machine down. This is as important as calibrating in the morning and it should be done at least every single day. With all your machines, you should have a cleaning blank, some poulet kef, a group head cleaning brush, and some kind of ice cream container. Not essential, but the ice cream's good. First things first, we take off the group handles. We use the cleaning blank to crack the basket open. We pop the basket in boiling water. We put the cleaning blank in the group handle, and we dispense around a teaspoon into the group handle. And then I'm gonna lock that into the machine, like so. I'm going to use the continuous pour button. At the moment, it's not cleaning. You must keep an eye on it. So now it's flashing, press the button. I'm going to repeat this process five times with the cleaning chemical in, and then I'm going to rinse it out. You'll see that it'll be soapy inside. And at that point, we're gonna rinse that clean. So we empty it away. We use the continuous flow button to clean up the basket. And I'm gonna put the cleaning bank back in empty and I'm going to repeat that process with just water. Good rule of thumb, if you wouldn't be prepared to drink the water that comes out of your machine, don't leave it. Keep rinsing. Take the group handle out, flush, have a look up inside. We get the cleaning brush, we put it on the rubber seal and we move it around in a circular motion. And you can't be too shy with these, you really really need to scrub hard. We're getting rid of any of the old coffee from the rest of the day. We have a look again. I'm happy, I give it one last flush, and then I repeat the process on the other side. After I've repeated that process, and I am happy that the shower plates are spotless, I then will take my baskets, and I will put it all in boiling water, and I will pour my pulley calf into the boiling water, and I will leave that for maybe five minutes or so. As that is sitting, I will then use that opportunity to remove my drip tray, like so, put it away from itself, and I will take it to the sink to be washed. Now you will notice that when you carry it that there could be some residual water in it. If it's boiling water, don't do this, but if it feels okay, put your hand underneath the tray and put your finger in the hole to stop the water dripping everywhere. Please don't put it through any form of pot wash. Bring it back and liberally sanitise and polish and make your machine sparkle. Please, whatever you do, do not soak your steam arms. Soda water is not a mythical cleaning substance, it doesn't clean anything, and if you soak your steam arms, it will soak the milk residue into the boiler and give you what's called sour boiler, which can cost you over a thousand pounds to get rid of. It's very simple, every single time you use the steam arm, you use a cloth to make sure they're spotlessly clean. If people keep it nice and clean, you will find, in theory, you will have less service calls, less maintenance problems, cleanliness will be much higher, and more importantly than anything else, your coffee will taste great. As usual, if you have any problems, please don't hesitate to call us in the office or contact us on Twitter. Thank you.